And, and if the F3 was the second most popular, second only to Billy's clicks on our, on our email invitations, the close third place was the Thunderbolt hard drive from LaCie. So let's, uh, let's, let's get right into that. Check out this little baby right here. Now, this doesn't work. <laughs> this is a model that is not yet available. It's a non-working prototype. But you get, idea, you get an idea for the form factor, OK? This is LaCie's answer to Apple's Thunderbolt technology. So what is Thunderbolt? Is it the next Firewire? Well, kind of, not really. It's a little bit more powerful than that. They've, uh, they've psyched us out here, because you'll see, let me get a close-up from Jose, please. You'll see that there's a, a spot to plug in a, a power supply. Uh, hogwash. Thunderbolt, uh, as the name suggests, will provide its own electricity. All right? You can connect up to six peripherals in series. So you've got an Apple brand new laptop with Thunderbolt. You come out of your Thunderbolt into this hard drive. Out of this hard drive into, say, a 30-inch monitor. You can connect up to six peripherals in a single Thunderbolt chain. The hard drives are going to be powered. The monitors are going to be beautiful. And uh, you're going to get unmatched transfer, transfer speeds, up to 10 gigabits per second of transfer speed. What does that mean? LaCie has actually seen trans, um, multiple high-definition streams of 835 megabits per second playback. So that's 1080p footage at 835 megabits per second, multiple simultaneous streams, playing off of one of their Thunderbolt hard drives right into a Mac. Um, really awesome. Check out this performance comparison. It's faster even than fiber channel. 10 gigabits per second is the kind of performance that you'd expect for really next generation hard drives. All right? Which so, hard drive is that? This is a LaCie Little Big Disc. All right? It's a LaCie Little Big Disc, you know, the Thunderbolt edition, and it comes in three flavors. You can get a 240 gig solid state drive, you can get a 500 gig solid state drive, and you can get a 7200 RPM one terabyte drive. So that's not solid state. That's actually a spinning disk. But at 7,200 RPM, it's going to match up with all of, your, uh, all of your existing, you know, hard drives. And when will they be available at Midtown? So thank you for, uh, for whomever is chatting and asking the question. The question is, when will these hard drives be available at Midtown? The answer is the end of summer. So if the summer solstice a couple days back was the first day of summer, they are going to be available before the last day of summer. We don't have an exact date yet. but. Um, Stay tuned. We would love to hook you up with your next Thunderbolt hard drive. Yeah? We cool on the, uh, we cool in the chat room? We have a couple of questions. All right, we got some questions it. coming in from the chat room. Before we wrap it up, let's, let's see what's going on. Um, is it 10 gigs a second for SSD, not only for 7200 RPM? That's right. So the transfer rate of 10 gigabits per second is the same across all three models. The solid state drives in 240 and 500, and also the 7200 RPM drive at one terabyte capacity. Now, this is just LaCie's first entrance into the Thunderbolt marketplace. Uh, Lord knows they're going to come out with two terabytes and four terabytes. Something else you ought to know about these guys, it's not just a single drive. There are two drives built in, so you get automatic RAID 0 or RAID 1 performance. Pretty handy when you uh, fear data crashes, as our, as our guest Billy Corbin did. Another question for you. Um, the Thunderbolt, um, which is the difference between USB 3? OK. So USB 3.0, totally different from Thunderbolt. Presently, USB 3.0 only available on PCs, right? Transfer rates of what I believe is 3 gigs per second? 5 gigabits per second. All right. Uh, so we, what, what we understand is USB 3.0 maxes out at about 5 gigabits per second. So in comparison, Thunderbolt is twice as fast. Additionally, it's available on those delicious apples. Um, check out the chart here. USB 3.0, there it is, 5 gigabits per second, right in the middle of the chart. And uh, Thunderbolt is two layers down at double, double the max transfer rate. Now, keep in mind, this is the maximum theoretical transfer rates. I don't know how the theoretical and the actual are going to answer, uh, uh, but check them out. Definitely, definitely believe it. Do a quick Google of LaCie Thunderbolt. You'll find some of their case studies where they have actually had multiple simultaneous sustained playback of 835 megabyte, not just megabit, 835 megabyte per second high definition playback streams. Pretty good. Pretty good. So uh, once again, I want to give a very special thanks to Billy Corbin from Rack on Tour. Thanks for your time today. If you missed any portion of that interview, our apologies. Check it out on demand a little bit later this evening. You're going to have the whole episode available to uh, sort of peruse through. Check out our answers section on our website. Post your questions for us. We're going to be monitoring it. We're going to be giving you guys answers. You can vote them up or down. And um, that's it, guys, for um, the Dot Video Show. This is Jesse Miller saying, totally awesome. Grab a drink. Pull up a chair If you need 
inspiration You'll find it right here Because it just don't get any better Than the Jesse Miller Show So grab a drink, have a smoke Stay tuned for information Coupled with jokes The imitators can do it like this This is a show you can't